everything in the court is ecclesiastical rooted. The same goes with the argument in terms of the military versus the de jure. So we go for the root. And if they deny the root, they deny everything. The branches, the tree, the limbs, the whole thing. The same will apply for the de jure. Uh, we'll get to that. We haven't got to it yet. But in restoring the law, we're beginning with the practice of the law, the use of the law, the meaning of the law, everything we're dealing with at the moment. Now, Gerald has repeated to me the question, and he's repeated to me several times. The question is, Gail, uh, who is a lady who had millions of dollars of her assets stolen by the system, uh, is that there is a summary judgment that has been brought forward in, in April? Do I have any ideas? What I want to find out with Gail is I want to find out uh, if there has been any um, prior uh, hearings to this specific element of her case. Gail, by the way, for everyone listening, um, has some additional complexities. She is in a state where the judges who actually stole her money... Now, let's be clear here. We're dealing with a level of corruption where officials law enforcement officials have physically stolen and shared money. And this is thievery. This is, this is property theft. And at the same time have used federal officials to harass a widow in the hope that she would react in some way. Firstly, hope that she'd die of the stress, hope that she would run away, hope that she would make some mistakes so they could use that as an argument to imprison her or silence her. At the end of the day, they want to get rid of her. They want to kill her, but they can't at and out go and kill her openly. These are judges. Now the issue is that they're going to, they obviously have a feel that they can continue with her because they want to get away with it. They want to get away with their thievery. They're now moving for summary judgment. What can we do? Well, I'll, I'll talk to this separately, but uh, I think if they're moving ahead now, it's time to, to now kick it back to the US Attorney General, to the President of the United States, and to the Pope. And uh, let them, I think Gail is, is an example of let them do their worst or try to do their worst, but if they're prepared to steal millions of dollars from a widow, and hold those judges unaccountable, then let that be the reason that they are held account to on Judgment Day, because it's outrageous. So I'll come back to that offline, Gerald. Thank you. And Ron, thank you. Um, and, yeah, Ron, I, thank you. You've repeated it. <laughs> um, I'm going to finish it up now. Um, who's the defender of the bond, micro series? Um, the bonds are created through the trust. I'd need more information on that, micro. What do you mean? Um, uh, I assume that you are going for... I'm not too sure which quotes. Well, look, I'm exhausted, but thank you so much for all the questions. I know we covered some important points. At the end of the day, we're dealing with corrupt people. At the end of the day, we're dealing with criminals. At the end of the day, we're dealing with tyrants. But they're tyrants and criminals and cowards that are hiding behind the law. Let's separate the law from these tyrants and these criminals so that there is daylight between the law and these criminals. Will it stop them from doing what they're doing? It might cause pause. But at the end of the day, when a criminal can no longer use the law as their way of hiding, then eventually they will be held to account. And that's the problem. For too long, they've been able to hide behind the law. Thank you again to everyone who's asked questions. Thank you for everyone that has come onto the call, everyone who's listened to the call. If I haven't answered a question, please use the forums and let us know. But at the end of the day, UK is about sharing knowledge. Thanks again, guys. Thank you for everyone for what you're doing. And uh, we'll talk again and next week, same time, we'll have the call again. Thanks again. Good night.